Hey what's going on guys, my name is Nathan and welcome back to the Snack Saloon. Today I've got a few Mexican things that I'm going to be trying here. I have three things, they're, they're all fairly small, there's nothing too big, but I did pick these up so I wanted to do a video on them. This is Boobalubu, which is a kind of chocolate bar I guess, I've never seen this before, but apparently it's got strawberry in it. And just based on the packaging, I did not think this was Mexican, but it says products of Mexico on the back, so... I believe this is one of those Mexican products that gets released in the US, but it is a Mexican brand, so... I'm going to put it in the video. Then I have this little thing, this is Mr. Wafer, which I presume is just a wafer chocolate sort of biscuit. I don't know, I knew, I've done a lot of these wafer biscuits on previous videos and I generally seem to like them so I thought I'd fill this in. And then I have a Tajitos Chili Melon Lollipop, which I've done a few of these before. I know the taste is really unique with these Mexican lollipops so I thought I'd, I'd throw this in as well. But that's it, it's going to be like a short video. I guess I'll start off on the Mr. Wafer since it's the smallest thing here. And like I said, I presume this is going to be like chocolate wafer. And I guess I'm going to like it. Hey, that's so small. As you see compared to my hand, it's fairly small. And it's just chocolate. That's all it is. Yeah, it's smaller chocolate. So I'm going to give this a try. Yeah, it's just wafer. I might as well finish it off. Yeah, that was good. It was just, like I said, wafer covered in chocolate. Probably one of the better ones I've tried that are, you know, better wafer biscuits. The chocolate tasted good enough, it didn't taste stale or anything. So yeah, that was, that was really good. Next, I'll try the Boo Boo Boo. Like I said, this looks like it has strawberry in it and something else, but I can't quite tell what that is. There's a big yellow label here that says New Image, so I guess the packaging was different. And on the back, it has like loads of social media links and stuff, which, like I said, it didn't, it doesn't make me think Mexico when I see this, but just say products of Mexico. Made in Mexico. It has the brand Grupo Bimbo SAB. So yeah. I don't know if this is marketed towards Americans or what. Well this is really interesting. It's like they're in almost circular shapes and they're they look kind of wet because the I guess the strawberries dripping out there. But yeah, that's pretty interesting. Let me give this a try. Oh it's marshmallow in the bottom. It's like marshmallow and strawberry in there. That was actually an interesting mix. It almost reminds me of something you find in a roses box in the UK. When you get the, the tubs of roses around Christmas. Roses chocolate. That's what it reminds me of. I think it was pretty good. Like I said, the strawberry and marshmallow actually mixed really well. It almost just made it taste like strawberry marshmallow, but obviously the strawberry is like a liquid, which is really interesting. I think that was good. That's probably one of the better things I've tried from Mexico. And last but not least, I've got the lollipop. Like I said, this is Tahitos. It says chili flavor and it has like melons on the front, so obviously it's going to be chili, chili melon, which most of these lollipops are. So let's just get this open. You can see it's got a lot of powder on there. Yeah, it has that iconic Mexican lollipop smell. I don't know if this is soft or hot. They're usually kind of chewy, kind of soft. Let's give this a try. Yeah, definitely chilly. Oh, it is, it is hard. Yeah, that's a hard one. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but the, the way the melon and the chili mix, it's a really unique taste. Really bitter, obviously, and sour, but I can feel a burn as well in, in the back of my throat. Yeah, that's an interesting one. I'm always on the fence about the Mexican lollipops. In a sense, I do like them. Because of the heat, I like chili. But then the taste is just so unique that it's unlike anything you've ever had before. So yeah, this, this was, it was pretty good. I mean, if you like Mexican lollipops, you'll obviously like this. So yeah, like I said, that was Tahitos. Out of those three things I've tried, I want to say the Bubba Lulu was probably the best. The wafer was good as well, just for what it was, just a simple wafer biscuit. And like I said, the lollipop, if you like melon chili flavored Mexican lollipops, you'll like that. <clears throat> As always, leave some suggestions in the comments below if you know any other Mexican brands you'd like me to try. I usually get quite a lot of views on these from different people in Mexico giving me suggestions, so I'm always thankful for that. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Until next time, see ya.